So if you're like me, you are not Chinese. And when asked to name Chinese cities, you say like Beijing and Shanghai and and then you get a worried look on your face questioning how to classify sensitive Hong Kong. And then you remember the city on everyone's lips in 2020, Wuhan. Was that a major city? And stopping you before you start naming Japanese and Korean cities. In this video we will take a look at every single one of the major Chinese cities. All of them above 1 million inhabitants. There are quite a few of them. China is the most populous nation in the world, and has been so for quite some time, even though it is traditionally a rural society with a highly successful agriculture that could feed such a large population. Nowadays, the people of China surely seem to prefer an urban lifestyle, and large cities have been popping up everywhere, more tightly intertwined the further east you go. Measuring and comparing cities is tricky for several reasons. We will talk more about that towards the end of the video. I do also want to apologize in advance for any errors in pronunciation. My Mandarin isn't what it should be. Located in the Guangdong province, Xiaoguan is the first city on our list, at 1,028,000 inhabitants, and it is the 105th largest city in China. We continue with Xinjiang, Julin, Huaibei, Anjiang, Jiujiang, Shufeng, Benji, Tianchui, Liaocheng, and Zhangjiang. With Fushun, we pass over 1.3 million and continue with Husu, Chichihar, Mianjiang, Shangjiaku, Baoji, Shuxian, Hungjiang, Shangde, and Jinhua before passing over 1.5 million inhabitants. After Jinjing, Jiaqing, Chaoqing, Huchu, Guilin, Dajing, Gangzhu, Xinhuangdao, Taizu, Yanjing, Jilin City, Anshan, Xiangjiang, Jinhuan, Changzhu, and Jishang, we pass 1.7 million. In place 68, we find Tai'an, with 1.73 million inhabitants. Slightly more people can be found in Xinjiang, followed by Xiaozu, Wuhu, Zhangjiang, Xinning, and Baoding. 61 cities in China have a population over 2 million, and Lianjungang is the smallest of them. Between 2 and 2.5 and million, we also find Puchen, Datong, Luizu, Baotu, Haiku, Nantong, Linji, Luojiang, and Shuhai. Passing 2.5 million, we are almost in the top 50, with Huizhou, Yantai, Chaojing, Maoming, Shuzhou, Huai'an, Zibo, Jiangmen, Wuifang, Huhuhatwe, and Handan, with 2.8 million. The 40 largest cities all have above 3 million inhabitants, with Lanzhou at place 40. Wuqi, 
Tang Zhang, Gui Yang, Nan Zhang, Zhang Zhu, Wen Zhu, and Nan Ding have a population between 3 and 4 million. Fu Zhu places at number 32, just over 4 million. Xu Jia Zhang in place 31, Hefei at place 30, and Shan Tu at place 29. Su Su has a population of 4.3 million, and Urumqie, the capital of the Xinjiang province, is home to 5,000 more than that. Shangchun, Chongchan, Kunming, and Ningbo all have a population of over 4.4 million, and Taichuan and Shangsha have one over 4.5 million. In place 20 we find Qiamen in Fujian province at 4.6 million, and the 19 largest cities in China all have a population above 5 million. Chengzhou in Henan province is at place 19 with 5.2 million. Dalian in Liaoning province is at place 18, and Qingdao in Shandong province is at place 17 with 5.7 million inhabitants. Jinan is the capital of the Shandong province and home to 5.9 million, and Harbin in the northern province of Heilongjiang is at place 15. And now we have passed over 6 million. Shenjiang is at place 14 and is located in the Liaoning province, with a population of over 7 million, and is trading Foshan in Guangdong province and Hangzhou in Zhejiang province. With Dongguan in the Guangdong province, we pass over 8 million, and Xi'an in Shanxi province at 10th place brings us just short of 9 million inhabitants. The capital of the Jiangsu province, Nanjing, is home to 9.3 million people and is at place 9 on our list. The infamous coronavirus outbreak city of Wuhan in Hubei province is in place 8, with over 10 million inhabitants. Then we take a small leap upward in population, to the 13.8 million of Tianjin in place 7. 16.3 million people call Chongqing its home, placing it at number 6, just short of Chengdu in Sichuan province, at 16.9 million, the fifth most populated city in China. In place 3 and 4, we find two areas located closely together with each other, and form a massive metropolitan area with previously mentioned Foshan and Dongguan, as well as partly sovereign Hong Kong, home to 7 million people and not included in this list. In place 4, we find Shenzhen, just north of Hong Kong, at 17.5 million inhabitants, and in place 3, Guangzhou, at 18.8 million. In second place, with 21.8 million inhabitants, we find the capital of China, Beijing. The massive city is the cultural, educational and political center of China. It is home to most of the major companies in the nation, and hosts many of the largest global companies, and is notable for its many billionaires. The Beijing International Airport is one of the busiest in the world, and the city is home to the second largest subway system globally. Beijing is thought to have been inhabited for 3,000 years and its architecture and many sites attracted, at least up until the coronavirus pandemic, a steady tourism flow from around the world. And finally, topping the list with 24.8 million, we find the largest city in China, Shanghai. 
Shanghai is a massive hub for global trade and finance, and the driving city in the Chinese economic development in the last few decades. It was the first free trade zone in China, after the economic reforms in the 1990s, and has the longest and most busy subway system in the world. It is one of the leading cities in the world in scientific research, and is home to numerous well-renowned universities. It features a characteristic skyline, and is a mantelpiece for architecture for the Chinese nation. In this video we have used numbers from the 2020 Chinese census and visualized population for the municipalities rather than the larger urban areas. Not the least because using urban areas would mean quite a few of the cities named here would merge into ridiculously large by population and geographical area swaths of land. Not the least is this true for the previously mentioned Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Dongguan, Foshan, Hong Kong area that if counted together would be the largest city in the world by a mile. Different countries use different measures to define cities and metropolitan areas, making comparisons between nations difficult. China is also not the most transparent of nations, so official numbers should always be taken with some carefulness. The fast urbanization of China has lifted hundreds of millions of people out of poverty, but it has also created demographic problems along the way. I have other videos diving into the population of nations and cities, including a video on China visualizing the population as a whole, and a volatile fertility rate. You have it featured on the screen in a second. China is also the largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. I dive more into that in another video featured on the screen. I have other videos coming out in the future with topics that will hopefully interest you. You can leave a comment down below if you have some suggestions on what you want me to cover in the future. You can also become a member on my channel by pressing the join button down below and checking out what perks I can offer you. Thank you so much for watching.